and welcome to a game from very far in my childhood. By 1C Company. But yeah, this game actually came out quite a while ago. It was Expo Software as well. It's called Star Wolves. Anyway. I'll let the guy speak. And, um, you know. More than a hundred years have passed since the beginning of human expansion in space. I'll see you in a second. During this time, humanity has grown up and become stronger, united by the iron hand of the Empire. The Imperial Navy, supported by the patrol, ensures that the Emperor maintains power throughout all of known space. Love the Theremin, don't know why. But the true power belongs to three giant corporations controlling everything on all inhabited planets. <gasps> Not all inhabited planets! Life there goes on under strict control by the system. Only space grants freedom. But are you ready to pay its real price? I grant freedom, but I don't know how expensive it is. <laughs> system Prospine. Sector Phoenix. The date is January 21st, 22, uh, 26. Station Coriolis, this is transport. They are one, two, three, six. Heading on course. Expected time of arrival, 25 minutes. Gregory, they are one, two, three, six. Waiting your arrival. Good luck. Unknown contact detected. We have guests. You may also recognize the music from a bunch of things in the past. They are one, two, three, six. I am under attack from unknown fighters. <gasps> I'm sorry, voice acting is terrible and cheesy. <laughs> you won't have to hear too much of it though, because after this, there's not no more voice acting. But yeah, I use that music quite a lot in the past uh, videos. You might have noticed um, when I'm trying to fill in an empty gap, I use some of this music. It's just really great music, and as far as I know, it's got no real copyright to it. At least YouTube doesn't catch any. T -E. uh, it's just a fill in silence, though. But anyway, I'm going to do the tutorial basically so I can sound check effectively. So, I'm almost there. Hello, old fellow. I'm glad you've decided to become a mercenary. I know that that transport ship was brought down by pirates. Believe me, I know what it's like. I think you'll be an excellent workmate to handle a fighter, isn't is like handling a transport. Let's make an old. Let's meet at the old training ground for a patrol, and we'll see what you can do. Okay. There's quite basic RTS controls, um, left click select, right click to move and attack. Hence, the most important information about your task is in the quest log. Press Q to find out. There's a quest log. We've got nothing here. <laughs> okay, thanks for the information, I guess. First, uh, get used to the external control systems. Look around and rotate the camera around your ship. Okay. Camera focus mode is set by default. You can rotate the camera in two ways, by moving it to the edge of the screen, or even better, by holding the right mouse button while moving the mouse. Which is a lot faster and more efficient. Excellent! Now rotate it up and down several times. It isn't difficult. Fine! You fully understand any tactical- You fully understand any tactical situations you have to learn how to move the camera. 
You can zoom in and out the camera we use, and the mouse wheel are holding left and right mouse buttons simultaneously. That's how old the game is. This is back in the time when scroll mice weren't a very common thing. First, move the camera away from your ship. Okay. Very good. Now move in. Add in. Perfect. The control panel is in the upper right hand corner of your HUD, so you can experiment with it later. Okay. Free mode and view camera mode. Ah. Uh, follow stays behind the ship and focus camera is based on the object and that is the default. So that would be... Uh, follow, I guess? On the upper right hand corner of a HUD you see a camera control. There are a contacts panel. As soon as your ship comes into range of a contact, it will be bookmarked there. Using bookmarks can focus on the sh that ship and give it orders concerning it. You may focus the camera on any object you see. Try focusing on my fighter. When other ships enter your field of view, a bookmark appears in the contacts panel. Meaning red meaning enemy and yellow meaning neutral. And nothing meaning friendly, apparently. You can choose your ship by double clicking on it or by clicking on the portrait at the bottom of the screen. Double clicking this panel allows you to focus on your ship. So, yeah, I've stretched it also to 1080p. You may notice. You can give an order by, by right clicking at the point you wish to move to. Note that th such a movement will be made on the plane of the selected ship. Now, try and get uh, acquainted with the ship movements. So, yeah. If I select... Wait, Naginata should be selected, right? Ooh, whoa. Clear. Yeah, she has selected. Well, I just selected her again, I guess. I got it. So, yeah. I went and tried to do this a couple of months ago. I had to get it on GOG because I did have it on... St well, I do have it on Steam, I should say. But when I actually tried to target anything, it just did not work at all. I got it. I went and took a quick test using the tutorial. So we're fine so far. Anyway, Q, move the camera out to maximum. Ah. Oh, okay. It wants me to do the vertical movement. Okay. I got it. So yeah, I think this was this is definitely actually now I think about it after Homeworld. Another game that's after Homeworld is kind of like it. So have we done that enough yet? Uh, right, what am I meant to do? Oh, fly to AC ship, okay. I really do like the music in this. It's very nice and mellow and then it gets a uh, kind of techno uh, rock type thing. Uh, for moving on a vertical plane, click the right mouse button while holding shift. This will move the mouse. Uh, move your mouse up and down to change the height. If caps lock, you see the height of all objects relative to the selected ship. So you can do that as well, I which does make things a lot easier. So, are we ready to go over? Not just yet. Okay. I guess we'll have to fly up a little more. Yeah, sure, we'll fly up. Is this good enough for you? Look, I'm flying up. Yes, yes, uh-huh, I'm flying up. Well, look, I'm now flying down. Mm. No, seriously, come on. On to the next stage. Is this not good for you? Yes, come on, yes. Um, no, seriously, yes. What the hell? The hell, man. There we go. There are some training targets nearby. You can use your weapons on them. Follow me! I just skipped the training section, that's why it suddenly worked. My mistake. You can attack enemies by right clicking on them. Let's get over there first. So, yeah, you can see things from miles away for some reason. Hmm. No idea why. I sh really shouldn't be seeing this this far away, I don't think. 
Oh well, whatever. But yeah, this uh, first episode is probably mostly going to be me just doing the tutorial, as I said, so I can use that as an audio test. Actually, you know what? No, it won't be. It, I'll stop the video, then audio test, and then see what happens. Because I very much doubt that this video is going to reach around about half an hour. If it does, well, sorry. <laughs> mm. No, seriously, are we close enough yet? There we go. Tear the now tear the targets to shreds, and this is where the music gets really nice and cool. No, no, no come on, hero, hero, you, you, you. Mm. You're not very good at this shooting business, are you? There we go. Come on, come on. Yeah, you, you got a shot off at least. You completely missed, but you got a shot off. No, no, come on. There you go. Right. Kind of. Come on, one more. Another one. Uh, yeah, there you go. Perfect. <laughs> now it didn't take you half an hour, did it? No, okay. Okay, I thought maybe he'd be able to just shoot it from where he was, but apparently not. I forgot, there is some voice acting. It's terrible voice acting, but it's nostalgic terrible. <laughs> okay, now get that one please. I think if I remember right, I can also group select. Yeah, I can do that too. Maybe we'll go after the one that's most, uh, uh, I guess, in his way at the time, apparently. But yeah, he's a bit uh, iffy, let's just say. But if I remember right, this is the Naganata class, and it's kind of a basic ship. His first generation, there are three generations, there's thirst third and fourth generation fighters. They have different hard points and um, different shielding and the maneuverability, but generally speaking, generation two is much better than generation one in basically every way. I have got a bunch of lore on it, but we'll wait until the actual story. I can name it. Okay. Good! You've made progress. While staying in an aggressive mode, your ships will attack any enemy they find themselves. To attack a neutral object, you have to give them a special order. Huh. Let's return to the nav beacon. It is uh, neutral and try and destroy it. Hmm! Try and destroy this nav beacon! Uh, you sure that's a good idea? I mean, sure, we'll do it, but, you know. Hmm. We'll send them to the Naginata. If I remember it, the first set of fighters are also named mostly after Japanese uh, weaponry. Like Naginata, Yari, uh, and stuff like that. I can't remember what the other ones are named. Hmm. I know there's stuff like Tri Fighter. Okay. And then. No, seriously, dead? No, 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 come on. This is this is getting ridiculous. I can tell my uh, guy to use some actually you know what? This is this is a tutorial. Let's use the missiles just for fun. So we'll deactivate the safety and we'll just fire off a couple of rockets. Watch later he'll tell me to use rockets and stuff like that. Now, we will work with the map. Call it up by pressing tab or click the map button in the bottom left. Wait, what? Bottom right even, probably. The map shows all the systems in the outline and while the map mode you can switch and give orders to move along and distances and orders to set attack. Or set orders to attack. Press the key, please. please. I marked a navigational... I marked a place of destination on your map. Let's fly there. Okay, sounds good. If you would give me control of the camera again. 
or just generally give me control. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, we can also accelerate time, which is very useful. I can't remember if there's a shortcut key for that. I'll have to look that up. Mm. Congratulations, you have finished the first part of the tutorial. Oh god, there's more than one part. Never mind, this will probably be the whole episode. Woo! Oh dear. Uh, we have arrived in another part of the system, by the way. I uh, retrofit is completely finished. I hid the new ship not far from here, and I called it Star Wolf. <clears throat> so now we know where the name of the game came from. Our mothership is called the Star Wolf, and we send out Star Wolves. Do you want to continue the second part of the tutorial? Sure! Because it helps describe things better than I could, probably. Oh good, we have now both of them under my control. That's actually kinda cool. Okay, now where have you hid this? To help you tr to help train you, I have damaged my fighter. Don't worry, I'm pretty safe here. Just use uh, an anrobotic repair system to repair restore my ship to full working order. Use the extend panel and select the operation menu at the panel of the pilot to activate the system and left click on its icon. Cool. The troll. <laughs> he is a troll, isn't he? troll -a -la -la -la. No. Anyway. Fine. I am repaired. Now, let's, uh, now need to learn about wings. You're not repaired, you're still damaged. The wing is the main t is a tactical unit. You must be the leader of it. And the second wingman who can... And the second wingman can do different tasks. Okay. I think that's... yeah, that's how you do it. Right, now the two of us are in the same wing. Oh, excellent! Now we are in the same wings. Uh, you're a leader I joined y because I joined you. To separate the wing, drag my portrait off this panel. Do not... don't do it right now, though. Okay. Ah, oh, the mouse is... St sticky right now. This is a time to learn how to how the group system works. Last pair, you activate the system and then it works. Ah, oh my god. The effect of using the group system is applied in every craft in the wing. Such systems can be operated in the second wingman. To activate it, select the uh, task in the task manual. Missile defense, for example. Okay. You go into missile defense for fun. Okay. Perfect. Get ready to attack. Oh, right, okay. Attack mode. Okay. Now that I will tell you about the unique pi abilities of pilots. Oh dear. Each pilot has a unique uh, ability that gives them a bonus during the fight, but these only work for short periods of time. A number of times... The number of times the activity... The ability can be used, however, is limited. You can activate these abil special abilities through the operations menu in the pilots panel. Uh, so this one? Yeah, this one. Sniper shot. Do you have any right now? No, you don't. You'll get some later. Though we don't see an enemy, try and use my sniper shot. Oh dear. Yeah, there. We've wasted it. Good! No, I am about to. I. Uh, what about the range of our radar? Standard radar is a target of a uh, range of 160 clicks from the ship. However, there is an expensive kit uh, available from that can uh, pr improve this range. Remember. Uh or yeah, expensive. Remember, who he who sees the enemy first has the advantage in the fight. Good radar saved my bacon so many times I can't even count. My fellow patrol is nearby. He says that he's tracking some pirates moving in into our position. They seem like novices. I think there is no problem in dealing with them. No, there's an ideal time to talk about missile attacks and to practice. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> oh, I love the music so much. By clicking on missile attack on the bottom right hand corner of the screen, you can order a wing to commence a missile attack on a selected target. Ah. Let us prepare for guests. Um, um, oh, did, it, did you say right hand corner? You did, okay. Let me see. Really 
Okay, on you go. Go! Let's turn the missiles on then. No? Do I even need the missiles on? Yes, I do need the missiles on, okay. Just making sure. Missile attack on... That... That didn't work. Oh my goodness. Ah. First off, let's stare them in the face. My mouse is going all iffy right now. I don't know if it's just cause of something with the game or, you know. Ugh, look at that though. This shouldn't be happening. I might have to switch this to windowed mode. We'll see. Okay, missile attack is arm up button. Oh god, I'm gonna have to learn a bunch of shortcuts, haven't I? Let's watch it from our own ships. Which are not moving! God damn it, just go and kill them. I mean, why, why have it. Oh, whatever. Really? Oh wow, that actually has a splash damage. I really did not know that. Okay. Is it you I had to switch to missing mode? No, okay. So I'm not being silly. Okay, we have some cargo now drifting. My friend helped us to locate the pirates. Uh, let's help him get to the portal. Sure. Give him an order to escort a neutral ship. Uh, right mouse button on the targets. Okay, we'll escort this. Yeah, there's a Yari. Perfect. This is a storm crow. Mm -hmm. Which reminds me of uh, Mech Warrior. Okay, yeah, that's that's ridiculous. Uh. Hmm. That's me just doing circles. Like figure of eight circles, I mean. Uh. We'll have to figure that out. I don't know, maybe it's just not catching up. It's not keeping up, it seems. Well, at least that was quick, and you got to the portal already. Uh... Okay. Split off. Quest complete escort. Sweet. Great! You're doing well! Listen, I don't... I didn't like to leave the Sarvolf in the system where pirates lurk. Let's fly to the mothership. Okay, sounds good to me. Let's get over there. I do want to have a look at the Star Wolf. Have the nostalgia flood back. <laughs> oh. But seriously, well. There's going to be so much nostalgia. It's just going to be ridiculous. Oh, a pole axe. That would have been quite a good look in game. And. Mascam. That's a standard uh, auto gun, if I remember right. Anyway. You know what, I'm going to accelerate this a bit. Enemy contact. Oh, we have enemies. Uh, down there. Ah, I pressed one okay. thinking I would... Can I say you as one? No, I can't. Okay. Used to oh. attack that. Okay, on you go. Um, that's what I call luck. What a ship! Let's take it! Hey, that's our ship. Get out of here while we can. What? You will die now! 
Oh, sweet. And the mothership's firing her guns. She has such good guns, if you ask me personally. The only issue is she's not really designed for combat. She's only, um... Got a sec uh, second rate job as being a pilot. Her primary job is just to act as... Uh, what do you call it? A hauler and a carrier, effectively. But she does have the additional advantage of being able to... Uh, fire missiles, uh, guns, etc. Okay, you're out of missiles. But let's uh, just use up the missiles. May as well. If I remember right, some standard missiles are not exactly hard to find. You can get quite a lot of missiles though. Uh, that is a... Polax. Also, she's not the fastest of ships. She's quite fast. Like, she really is quite fast. We've... That's... What? What? Now it's time to teach you how to handle the mothership. You do, drove a simple transport before, but this is a military ship. Wait, what? The mothership is a mobile base which can rig up different weapons and advanced technology systems. You can repair, reload fighters on it. The mothership can also gather salvage for all, which can be sold for a profit. Yeah, I know that, but I didn't think she was actually military grade. I thought she was just a transport. Let's head to the hangar. On my way. You can dock your fighters in the hangar of the mothership by clicking Alt to base button located in the bottom left hand corner of a HUD or dragging a pilot's portrait to the mothership panel. Oh, right, okay. Talk all fighters, please. What is there to do? Oh, yeah, she can't move while she's talking, I just remembered. It makes sense, but I didn't remember that to start with. This will be when last of uh, AC's damage gets patched up. Da da da. One pilot in, one pilot to go. Or something along the lines he was in. Ha. Huh. I don't know why I have this strange feeling the Stormcrow can't actually have a system, which would have been what the uh, repair thing was. Also, great texture work here. Mm. Yeah, the game definitely so shows its age, but it's still great. Uh, cargo on bold, the poleaxe. Great work, pal! Now we're getting. Now we're a real team. <laughs> One of the best days of my life was when I left patrol. After working with that rotten organization, anything seemed better. Okay. Okay. Enough chit chat. Let's get to work. Open the map and lend the Star Wolf to the lead the Star Wolf to the portal. Just while I remember, I. Hmm. Control B? No. It doesn't work, that shortcut. From here you may uh, shop for weapons... Uh, wait, what? You may buy and sell weapons and systems, or re-equip the mothership and fighters. Uh, the contents of your cargo bay is displayed in the bottom of the screen, and the left hangar is with... Uh, fighters and pilots are sh where p fighters and pilots are shown. Okay. I'm just seeing... Do you have a uh, system? You do. Never mind! I was about to say, you shouldn't have been able to think away, but you do have assistance, that's fine. Do we have any missiles? No, we don't. We just have guns right now. Urgh. That's a big gun, and this uh, classifies as a big gun, I believe. So is this better? Ah, uh, we can't find out here, can we? Oh, no, we can. We can. 15, 60, 70. 15, 60, 70 in low. Oh wow. That Gatling gun's a lot better. Take that. Okay. Stage ready. Stage Portals ready. allow ships to instantly travel over large distances throughout space. Affirmative. Or through space, you know. I 
Okay, okay. Uh, just pick up the last two bits of cargo, because why not? Affirmative. Any time now. Alright, oh, does she need to be sitting still to be able to pick things up? She might actually have to. Anyway, let's speed this up a bit. I really need to find a shortcut for that. I'll probably do that in the next episode. So, on we go. Through the portal! The tutorial has been completed successfully. Yay! <laughs> That was very dry, that last bit. The tutorial's been su uh, successfully completed. <laughs> but anyway, in the next episode, we'll actually get into the meat of the game and start a new gun. So, until next time, all the best, and I hope you enjoyed. I'm looking forward to this one. I was about to click, click, quit, as, you know... I'm going to end the video with a quit button. Wait, what? Nah, anyway, until next time, all the best, and I hope you enjoyed.